Now let us consider two parallel plates with equal and opposite charge. This is one plate having a charge plus Q and this one is having a charge minus Q. The area of the plates are same. The charge per unit area on both the plates are the same magnitude. So if sigma is the charge per unit area, this is having a charge plus sigma A and this is having a charge minus sigma A. Now, we know the electric field between the plates. Electric field is confined to the region between the plates. And that electric field is given by sigma by epsilon naught. So electric field will be sigma by epsilon naught. Let us say the distance between the plates is small d. Now, if we move the upper plate up, say by a distance x we have to do work because the plates are attracting each other so if we want to increase the separation between the plates we have to do work and because of this hard work done by us electric field gets created in new space earlier there was no electric field in this volume in this space in this region now electric field gets created in this space. The electric field between two parallel plates having equal and opposite charge is confined to the region between the plates. The electric field outside is zero. And now if we increase the separation between the plates, electric field gets created in this new region, in this space. And that electric field is getting created because of the work done by us. Now how much work we have to do? This bottom plate is creating an electric field here. That electric field is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Actually this one is creating a field sigma by 2 epsilon naught here in this direction. This plate is creating sigma by 2 epsilon naught in the same direction. That's why the net field is sigma by epsilon naught. So the field due to lower plate here or anywhere here, here, okay, is having a magnitude sigma by 2 epsilon naught and the charge on the upper plate is Q plus Q. So the force on the upper plate due to lower plate will be equal to charge on upper plate multiplied by electric field due to lower plate. Electric field is force per unit charge. The charge on upper plate is Q. The magnitude of electric field due to lower plate is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So therefore, this is the force on the upper plate due to lower plate and once we know the force if you multiply by the displacement we know the work done and if you know that work done we know the potential energy that is there in this new region so therefore the work done will be given by force on upper plate into the displacement x so this is q into sigma by 2 epsilon naught into that x and this work is resulting in the potential energy created in this space new space where potential energy has been created so this is equal to the potential energy so now therefore the potential energy becomes sigma is charge per unit area. So Q is sigma into A. So therefore we get sigma into A into sigma, this sigma, into X by 2 epsilon naught. So basically we get sigma square by 2 epsilon naught 
into a into x and a into x is nothing but volume so this is multiplied by volume so therefore the potential energy per unit volume that we call field energy density will be equal to sigma square by 2 epsilon naught and we know that electric field is sigma by epsilon naught therefore sigma is e into epsilon naught so this becomes e square epsilon naught square by 2 epsilon naught this epsilon naught one of that cancels and we are left with half epsilon naught e square and this is a very important formula this is field energy density this is the energy per unit volume in any space where electric field is present